Hey guys, welcome back to Friday. We are going to make something a little different for us. We're gonna make a kitchen towel and I'm gonna make it with a fold over top so that you can hang it over your stove handle. And if you don't want the fold over top, you can just make a fourth seam on here. But I'm gonna show you how to use a fat quarter for that. You've got fat quarters that you won't use for anything else. Might make a great kitchen towel or even a kitchen towel as a gift for somebody. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first step is we're gonna iron the fat quarter flat. And then I'm going to use my little homemade template here to bring my fabric over a quarter of an inch, right in line with that mark, and iron it down. And because I'm using cardboard, I don't have to worry about it burning. Hopefully you can see that mark on there. I'm just bringing the fabric over to the quarter inch mark. So I'm using a homemade template to do this. I'm gonna bring this over to the quarter inch mark on my little cardboard template. And I'm just gonna go right down the side. The cardboard gets hot, but it's not gonna catch fire. And it's disposable and I can always find cardboard. This is something you could make and keep or you could create one every time you sew something like this. And I'm just using actually the piece of cardboard that this fat quarter came on. And once I've got it ironed all the way down, I'll just fold it over one more time because I don't want fraying edges on my towel. And go right down through here. And iron down a second quarter inch. I'm gonna take this over to my sewing machine and I'll sew down both sides and then I'll come back and show you how to do the bottom. Okay, so now that I have, now that I have both of my sides sewn, I'm gonna give it a quick press just to make sure everything lays down where I want it. And then I'm going to press the bottom and I'm gonna do it exactly the same way. I'm gonna do a half an inch, excuse me, a quarter of an inch. And I'm gonna use my little template just to help keep me on track. They make a hot roller out of metal that you can do this with, but for something this small, I'm not gonna go dig out that ruler. Thank you. 
And then I want to fold over a half an inch. So I'm going to use my little template. I'm going to take that folded edge right over to where I marked the half inch. One more trip to the sewing machine, just to sew that down real quick. Okay, and now that we've got the sides hemmed and the bottom hemmed, I'm going to give everything a quick press. Now we get to do the front stuff. I'm going to lay my fat quarter down so that it faces itself, and I'm going to fold it in half. Okay, I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm going to use my iron to mark right there at the center mark. Once I have it folded at that center mark, I'm going to figure out what halfway is from the outside edge to the center. And I'm gonna use my pen to mark that. And then I'm gonna take that pen mark and I'm going to bring it over to the center. And I'm gonna fold it back so that it all stays straight. One of the few times you will see me use straight pens. Because I'm going to make sure that that pleat stays in there. And then here is the pleat at the back. And I'm going to fold this part in half. And keeping the top edge straight made a little bit easier here because I can match up my plaids and I'm going to put another pin in. <clears throat> so let me show you that one more time. I have a center mark and I'm going to fold over one side of this to that center mark. And I'm using my finger there to put that mark in. But I'm going to use a pen, an ink pen, draw that in, and then I'm going to bring the ink pen mark over to the center. So I've marked that with pen, and I'm going to bring that to the center. And I'm going to fold it down. It's as if you want pleats in your towel, and I do. And I'm going to use a straight pen to hold that in place. I'm going to make sure that everything is still flat and straight. And then I'm going to bring, see this edge? I'm going to fold it in. So that everything is straight. And then I'm going to fold that top piece back. So I end up with a couple of pleats in here. And because I have a pattern that matches up, I'm going to match up that plaid. Now I'm going to go over the sewing machine and I'm just going to put a quarter inch basting stitch along the top so that I can take these pins out of here. Machine, I'm just going to lay everything down flat so nothing gets wonky. 
and I'm going to do a longer stitch length and I'm just going to baste at about a quarter of an inch just so that I catch all of those top edges. Using my hands just to keep it all straight. Before I pull my pins out, I want to make sure that the front and the back are both stitched. Now we can take our pins out. See, we only needed them for just a second. Now, I'm going to make a towel, a hanging towel topper for this one. Okay, so it's a cutting mat. We have our towel here, and I'm going to measure how far across this is. So I want to lay it all out nice and pretty. And it is about five and a half to five and three quarter inches across. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a piece, a couple of pieces that are a little bit bigger for my top. So I'm using another fat quarter for the top piece of this. I've just given it a quick press. I'm going to cut off that wiggly edge there. I don't like that. Then I'm going to cut six and a half, three, four, five, six and a half. So I've cut a six and a half inch wide piece. And I know that's going to be wide enough for my towel. And then I want to make sure that I draft something that's going to work to hold to go over the top of my stove handle. So I'm lining everything up. And I'm going to fold it in half. And this piece is about nine inches long. So I want to give at least three and a half inches. And then I'm just going to draft myself a little. to go over the top. You don't have to make it curved at all. You can make it any shape you want. <clears throat> Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way around the edge at a quarter of an inch at the sewing machine. Now because I've got curves in mine, I want to do a little bit of snipping here. Up to but not through my seam line. But only where there's curves. And I'll cut out some of this bulk here at the curve. If you don't want to snip your curves, you can uh, just trim really close to them. But I like the snipping because it gives it a little more wiggle room. Okay. Before we turn this inside out, we're going to do one more thing. I'm going to turn bottom edge up. 
quarter of an inch, half an inch. Just so that it looks even. And I'm finger pressing that flat and I'm going to take it over to the iron. And now that it is ironed, I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm going to be careful to leave that edge at the bottom turned inside. And I'm just using my finger. You can use a chopstick or a purple thing to keep your pressure seams all the way out. Make sure you've kept your curves. And I'm rolling my seams out. Make sure that everything is where I want it. And as you saw, this is just a self-drafted little topper for it. I just wanted it long enough that it will go over the top of my stove handle and hold my towel there. If you don't want yours to hang, you don't have to make the topper part at all. You could just tin the top and bottom and fold it up and put it in your drawer for your towels and then use it when you're ready. Okay. Extremely simple design. And if you wanted, you could embroider this. You can put a buttonhole. I'll probably just put a piece of Velcro. Let me give that another press. So now we've got it all pressed out, and here's our towel. We're going to put our towel inside. Straighten out that edge. And I'm going to put a mark here at half an inch. That's also right where that top line starts, but what I'm doing is trying to make sure that it's even all the way across. So I want the top edge of the towel topper or the bottom edge of the towel topper to sit right there, right above that line, so that when it's hanging on my stove, it looks right. Let's go back to the sewing machine. And at the sewing machine, I'm doing about a two stitch length. Make sure everything is still lined up the way I want. Backstitch, couple of stitch. I'm just using the edge of my pressure foot. Keep my stitch line even. And then I'm going to use the presser foot itself. The second row is decorative and it helps make sure that my towel stays inside the towel topper. And 
I have a thread as always. Hanging off. And then if you want, you can do a decorative stitch right around the top edge of your copper. Still maneuvering that to come out. I'm going to do about an eighth of an inch. You can do a quarter if you're more comfortable with that. Any rows of stitching as you like around there, decorative stitching. Be a great time to go to your sewing machine that has all those pretty stitches on it and use it for something. And then when I put this on my stove, I'll just put a little bit of Velcro on both sides and it'll fit right over my stove top. And there's our kitchen towel. It's all done. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to put some Velcro on here. I'll just put some sew on Velcro and it'll look really cute in my kitchen. You all have a great day. Thank you for watching.